no stopping us now. Let us G'day folks, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have your company. Round one down and we are out on location for championship <laughs> division. Plenty to talk about. Where are we, Cal? We're here at the new home of state of basketball within the state. We're in Scoresby. State basketball you within like the that? state. That's you nice. like that? Yeah, good. <laughs> it looks alright. Well, it looks like it's coming along nicely. It'd be nice to uh, move in there. Where's your office? I think it's that. Yeah, right, no worries. In the corner. <laughs> State in the, champ. In the outhouse. With the dunce hat on. Yep. State champ men, plenty to talk about. Cryo Bay packed their tents. They went up to the forest. They came home losers. Yeah. Jason Reardon, only 2 of 13. No Eric Williams. Yeah. Danger signs early or not? Oh, no, I think they'll be all right. It's, you know, a lot of jitters going into your first ever game in Big V. Jason Reardon isn't going to shoot like that too often. And Eric Williams is going to dominate this competition. So, chuck in those two factors and they'll yep. be just fine. Eric Williams playing this week, yes or no? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Interesting. No love lost. Eltham and Diamond Valley. Bang! The Eagles get up by a couple. Chris Arkell proving that he deserves the minutes. 27 points in that one. What mm. a ripper. Well, he was clutch down the stretch. He's a, he's a tall guy. He can shoot the ball well, so he can get his shot off pretty much whenever he wants to. So he was able to do that when it counted, and the Eagles were able to get up uh, um, against the team that they would like to most. Yeah, absolutely. As I said, no love lost between those two. The Wildcats, still a couple to come in yet? Oh, well, it's it's pretty quiet down at Eltham oh. as opposed to last year. But, you know, it's going to be interesting to see who bobs up when the, um, you know, end of the NBL season and, you know, any all sorts of factors can come into it. So you I never think there know. might be one or two yet to come back. There's got to be. Yeah. There's got to be. We'll wait and see what happens. Uh, big game, Ringwood and Waverley. We certainly expect those two to figure prominently come the business yeah. end of the season. Ringwood get it by a couple. Yeah. Full strength bar, Daryl Corletto. Waverley, no Platnick, no Dylan, no Benny Lewis. What can we read into And it? no Brad Kelleher. They're no Brad right. Kelleher out injured at the moment at the yeah. PG. Yep, absolutely. What can we read into this one? Well, not too much. I think um, it's good to see Sam Belt back in the comp, yep. putting 23 points and had like nine boards, I think. So um, he's going to be another good factor for them. I think the, the loss of Corletto does not even come close to outweighing the loss of all those players for Waverley. What so, about the old bloke out at Ringwood, Mark Whitehead, put uh, oh, 17 yeah. points down? Still, oh, going. Know, still got it, still got the legs. <laughs> we're going to get uh, we're gonna get Damo Smith back soon, no doubt about it. Well done to Ringwood first up, but gee, I'll tell you what, I think a lot more to come with Waverley. Yeah, I do too. They're going to be absolutely fantastic this year. They're Big really story, awesome. round one state champ man, Hume City, the Broncos have come out bucking, there's no doubt about it. A couple of wins first up over Melbourne yeah. and over Bulleen. The big news story here for the Broncos, the three wise men. The three <laughs> wise men have delivered on, on uh, target round one. Yep. Of course, we're talking about Damon Lowry, Jermaine Maybank and uh, also Jamal Brown. All three, perfect start, perfect weekend. Well, Maybank and Brown, you know, they, they feed off each other. They played together last season, but I think the addition of Lowry, who had to coach last season and play at the same time, um, having to not do that's going to make a huge difference with the Broncos. They've got a couple of other guys like Alex Bogart King there now. Yep, yep. And I think they'll be actually quite solid this season. A couple of news stories for the losers. Uh, uh, Sammy Gazzo, 28 points for the Melbourne Tigers. Who's that? Got no idea. <laughs> but well done, young man. I think he's young. Anyway, no, we'll, we'll find out. We'll work out who he is. And uh, for Bulleen, Darren Best. He's not that young, but he bobbed up with uh, 31 points for Bulleen. And the new import, Corey Standurfer. Yes. Is it Standurfer? I like that. I'm going to go with that anyway. 20 I think they're going to be 21 and 14 for the Boomers, but yeah. the big news story round one, definitely Hume City. Well done. Yeah, no, two wins from two games to start off. Dream start. A couple of big games coming up this weekend. Diamond Valley and Sherbrooke. Oh, you want my tip there? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Alright, I'll go with that. Um, he's got no idea. No, no, no. I reckon Diamond Valley. They'll be feeling good. Uh, it's a repeat. Last year's grand final. Waverley and Eltham. Oh, uh, Waverley. Yeah, I think Still they may get done. up. Yeah, I think they may get up as yeah. well. They're state champ men. Get out and support them in round two. State champ women. Some big results in round one. None bigger than yeah. Waverley women beating Ringwood. The young blood. Yep. They're going to be awesome. They're just going to run every time they get the chance. Ilya, their coach, he's going to be um, on them. You've got to be 
kind of discipline with a young group, but Ringwood, with all these, you know, I know Motten wouldn't like me to talk about them too much, but uh, with all these signings, they've got two imports, yep. uh, Jackie Van Der Zag yep. there now, they've got Sarah Yusuf if you didn't play. Yep. Um, Really, they should. They were favourites heading in, but Waverley just, uh, you know, stamped their mark on the comp. Well, they're young and they're quick and they want to win. They uh, just play with fantastic intensity. Georgia Sturton, terrific in this game. It's awesome. Uh, Melissa Moyle got up and hit 23. Sturton with 18. Ringwood, seriously, they get the imports in. They need to develop the depth around them if they're going to go to the next step. It's only round one. Long, long way to go, but already maybe a couple of cracks there. Well, you know, they have been. That has been their knock the last year or two, but they haven't. Had any depth, but adding those extra couple, I think that'll be addressed. I think they'll be all right. Amanda Benke, MVP from a couple of seasons ago, 23 and 21. She's off on a fly straight Probably away. Probably win it again. Yep, off on a fly straight away. Hey, Melbourne and Hume City. Mm. Now, the off season, not too much has been said about this, but no love lost between the Tigers and the Broncos and the state champ women. No. A few from the Tigers. Dan went over to the stable. A lot of feeling in round one. Melbourne came out and went bang, 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 slapped them around. Big win for the Tigers. Well, the Broncos are a really young side, yep. obviously with a couple of Tigers there, former Tigers. Um, Melbourne's just whipped out of the bag. Uh, Caitlin Cunningham suiting up for them. 22 points round one. Absolute gun. So I think she's going to have a huge season. And um, yeah, obviously no one at Hume City could even come close to guarding that, I think. Well, Lisa Walbutton, the uh, big import for Hume City. She scored 18, uh, but the Tigers get up by 31 in that one. McKinnon, is it the McKinnon Falcons Cougars. or the Waverley Cougars? We're going to do this all year? No, nah, we're not. They're, <laughs> they've proven themselves from round one. They deserve to be known as the McKinnon Cougars. Got up with a very, very good victory by seven points over Sherbrooke. More on Sherbrooke in a moment because yeah. they had a big, big game on Sunday. Uh, but McKinnon with the departed eight, as we like to call them, they got up and got the win. Well done. First ever win in state champ women. First uh, game in state champ yeah. women. Well, I was at that game watching some women's basketball. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. How'd you go? And, oh, no, it was really good. Uh, Waverley defense is about as good as it gets. Yeah. They're intense. They're up in your face. They're doing everything they can. Sherbrooke, though. Yeah. How, how did Waverley go in that game, by the way? Oh. Considering you just said Waverley's oh, defense. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> McKinnon's defense. Well, you, you can keep ribbing me while I keep saying that. <laughs> But unfortunately, on a, on a bad note though, Sarah Miller looks like yeah. she's injured herself. For sure, Brooke, best, yep. best of luck for her and, um, and you know, hopefully she can get back sooner rather than later. Well, I think she had about 18 points in that she game. She dominated, so. shot lights out. Well, Sherbrooke didn't get the win on Saturday night, but on Sunday they went to Bulleen. Not only did they get the win, but they unleashed yeah. the zippy, nippy force that is Julia Tan, and she came out and hit 30 points. Fantastic. She's a phenomenal player. Great player. Well, veteran. She knows what it takes. She put up the points. She got the boards. Mate, she's going to be huge for this season. Dominated the game. 30 points and 11 rebounds. First game for Sherbrooke. I know that she may be carrying a couple of uh, injuries here and there, but geez, if she can get out and perform like that, yeah. I think she played 37 minutes, so really, really big. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she'll be awesome this season, no doubt. A couple of big questions. Sarah Miller, you spoke about her. Yeah. We do wish her the best in coming back uh, very, very soon. Julia Tan is a pretty good um, replacement. Yeah, oh, no doubt, absolutely. <laughs> Did we underestimate Waverley this season? Waverley? Yeah. Yeah, no, Waverley, not McKinnon. Yeah, Waverley, yeah, yeah. the young guns, the young guns. Yeah. Have we underestimated absolutely. them? I think we might have. Like, they're going to be a pretty well drilled team. And, um, you know, they're going to be up and up and about. They got, they're a very skilled team. Yep. Not only are they young, but yes, uh, they start to get used to playing against bigger bodies on a week to week basis. They'll be fine. Okay, pressure on as we depart uh, from round one of the state champ show in front of the new state headquarters for basketball which will be opening in the coming months big question who will figure to be the best recruit out of these two this season in state champ women julia tan or caitlin cunningham they I both suppose. bring they both bring some good assets to both of their teams yeah well is it uh, are you assuming they're the best two yeah no 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 i'm just saying out of those two i'm putting it on the line okay for you. okay well if we're narrowing it down i'm going to go with julia tan as long as she can keep that sort of level of play out throughout the whole season a couple of big games coming up sherbrooke diamond valley women Who's going to win? Um, Sherbrooke. And Diamond Valley. If Julie Tan plays. Diamond Valley have to back it up against Melbourne. Oh, I like Melbourne for that one. I think they're going to they're gonna have a tough weekend. The Eagles, unfortunately. We should just mention, too, Eltham had a very good win round one over Diamond Valley. Did well, you miss that, did you? Well, I might have, but I just, a I just game, picked mate. it up right there. So, <laughs> well done to Eltham. They've lost yep. some stars, but a good win still first getting, up. Still getting Ws. Yep, absolutely. State Champs show. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you next week. And you as well. Bye-bye for now.
stopping us now.